Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a brand new episode of Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaba. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to episode 6, Swordsman Accompanying a Demon. And I'm very excited about this episode because this is Tanjiro's first mission as a demon hunter. If you guys didn't watch my episode 5 reaction or anything like that, basically what happened last episode was that the final exams were over. Out of 20 people that went in, only 5 people survived the challenge. And of course, Tanjiro was one of them. They had to pick an ore for their sword because a special sword of course for demon hunters basically it kind of clarifies that it will kill demons easily and it won't break and it also depend on your power and your will with the sword that will give you strength and of course we saw Tanjiro pick his and afterwards he comes back home to see Sakonji his sister Nuzuku wakes up from her three I think it was like three or two year coma and now they're back together here yet again he gets his sword that's a color changing sword which I'm going to guess it depends on the mood or depending on like the battle that he's in that the sword will eventually change color of course like the white and silver that we see from swords it turns right into black which is pretty cool man i cannot wait for what more the sword and what tanjiro does with his abilities and of course it was hinted within the last episode that if it's a demon or a person going around this town stealing girls and tanjiro has to figure out the solution kill this demon or just find uh the problem that's happening within this town so it's gonna be really cool from experience you know i guy that was so young selling coal to provide uh, of course money for his family to now becoming a demon hunter and trying to of course save his sister from not being a demon and to turn back into human so it's definitely a crazy ride but i'm definitely excited to see what uh, tanjiro and nizuku's experience are going to be from this and it's definitely going to get a lot more dark i know that and it's going to be quite a thrill if I might add it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support on the reaction so far of Demon Slayer. But enough of me talking, ladies and gentlemen. Let's jump right into the episode of episode 6 of Demon Slayer. Here we go, man. Oh, his first ever mission. Destroy. Oh. This is going to be a crazy ride for him, man. There we go. There's this gap that we see now. There's, uh, I guess, his Demon Hunter uniform, right? I don't know, but this is about... Oh. <laughs> Nuzuku. She can definitely see uh, the change within uh, his brother after the two or three years since it all happened. Here we go, though, man. Opening one. Last episode was crazy, man. Especially with the finals exams and his promotion, I guess. Oh, I love this opening. It's so sick. I wonder, so I guess it's not, um, like, my guess is that, uh, it'll probably be a cliffhanger at the end or something like that. Like, actually seeing, like, the demon or the person that's, uh, kind of, uh, taking these girls from the town. Like, it's, it's definitely just gonna be recon this episode. I, I could see it. If they do both, I'll be shocked, but, uh, I don't see that. And then we have the blonde dude in the boar. Kind of like, middle opening, maybe we'll see them soon. That was the other girl that passed. The Scar dude, I was actually uh, surprised about that. That's uh, Bakugo's voice actor from uh, Hero Academia. Get this built up a little bit. Oh! There we go, man. That Dude, that animation for the water is beautiful every time I see it, man. Like, look at that! That, like, that's a detail I think a lot of people just love about this anime, is that they, like, just, like, I guess the little things or the big things they do, it's, it's just insane. This has to be, like, one of the best, like, animated animes, uh, this year, 100%. I know I'm saying that it's only episode 6, but, like, you just give props to it, man. Like, you can see just the hard work they put into this for the fans. Demon Slayer Corpse. The struggles, man, like... Special kind of fiber. Huh. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of like, a. A bulletproof vest when you look at it, maybe? If that's a good comparison. Little as no- Ooh, okay, so there's a special blade. That's pretty sick. 
No one's seen really a black sword like yours, so. Who never go far? Ouch. Uh. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. I thought it'd be special, but it's like when people have them, they just never go far. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, did he make a special box for Nisaku? Kind of small though, isn't it? Oh no, but I guess that's her ability that she could like kind of uh, go big or small. Okay, I was about to say that. I totally forgot all about it because it's been a while since I watched uh, this show. <laughs> I don't think she's happy about it, bro. I have to go in the freaking box again. <laughs> I don't want to leave. I'm comfortable. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, in the box you go. <laughs> Jeez, I know, I know it's I know it's protecting her because if she gets sunlight on her, she will die. But I like this development that they're happy. You know, Sakonji never really had a huge faith in Tanjiro when he, of course, came to his house, but. Now he really sees the huge potential within him and that he could actually carry out his mission to save his sister. I'm really hoping we see him again. I think he has to. Like, he's he's a main character, but... Alright. On the road again. Hmm. So she's just sleeping right now then. Oh well, still that'd be a little bit frightening though. Alright, here we go, a brand new uh, town man. This is gonna be really interesting. Hmm. <laughs> could this could this be the town? Oh no, wrong one. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty big. This is definitely gonna be a, a tough mission, and you can't just go asking around people because that'll be suspicious. Oh, this is the guy. Well, that gives us a clue right there for him. Well, I guess he didn't really have to look far for information. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, I thought I was going to talk with him, but... Oh, there we go. Nope, never mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I wonder, like, how many missions will it take to actually level up here? Hmm. Oh yeah, he's gonna use his nose. It's like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Could smell that demon. I think there's something strange about this. Yeah, I feel like the demon's smart. Like he's kind of uh, throwing his scent away. Oh, whoa. 
Ah, oh, this must be that girl's uh, parents. Oh, the father, man. I feel bad for the guy, man. It's like, I was just going out with this girl, and I'm getting beat up. I guess he's gonna find his uh, objective a lot earlier, but like that's uh, that's the problem right here. Is a lot of people are. Uh, I think he's standing out, right? That's uh, kind of like the worst part about him. A lot of people are starting to notice that he's here. I don't know. That's just why I think about like demon hunters and that. Is like you kind of have to be a lot more stealthy with your job. Hmm. Oh, no, he's he's good, man. He's good. Yeah, I don't even know how you'd be able to live in a house in a situation like that. Yep, there we go. <laughs> now he's starting to figure it out. Oh, okay. Oh, this, oh don't tell me this little girl's going to get... No, this girl's going to get kidnapped. Whoa! So it can go like under the floor then? That's not terrifying at all. Oh, I guess it's like under the crack. The yeah. Oh no. I feel like if this happens though, Tundra is going to be on him. <laughs> Ask yourself that question and it's about to happen to you. Whoa. Yo, what? That is terrifying. Yo, what, what ability does this demon have? I'll, I'll see ya. I'll see ya. Mm-hmm. Now he knows his whereabouts. But that's the problem is that I guess he could, uh... Um, he could disappear like that because of his ability. Yo, Tundra! Hmm. Oh, whoa, here it is. Too different. A demon and a female human. I love this first person expect. Yo, this is sick. 
That is really cool. Wait, what? Clever, man. Yo, Tundra, let's go. His nose ability right there. He knew that they were underneath. A morph demon. Blood demon arm. Is it? Huh. See, this is why I like. We're learning different types of them. Oh, but he can regenerate. Oh, that noise. Oh, jeer. Jeez. Yeah, I think you uh you pissed him off there, Tundro. All right, here we go. So kind of this deep man, um, his power is to have like the elements of surprise on his, uh, on his prey. But it's a good thing that, uh, Tundra has his nose. Oh, what? I think that's the same person. I don't think that's, uh, three of them. I think this demon can make the Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> Yo, there it is! God, that looks beautiful. Nah, we're only at the halfway point. What? That was sick. There's only one in this world. Oh, whoa. So there we go, he has a solution. That demon's name. Huh. Musin. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Yo. Oh. I love this music in the background. I don't think it's three of them. I think it's just one and he just uh, manip uh, manipulates himself. Oh, here we go again. Water wheel. Yo, that was so sick. Too shallow again. Come on, Tanjiro. Oh, I can talk. Huh. Oh, dude, that's messed up. Wait, does that mean it's been confirmed then that those other girls are... So this guy... Yo, dude, this guy reminds me of a Zetsu from Naruto.
So this version of the steam is like crazy and wants to eat humans, and the other is like kind of patient. And then there's this one that just makes noises. Oh no. Well, uh, I guess that's been confirmed then. Uh, that's messed up. Well, rest in peace to a character we didn't really get development with, but... Hmm. Oh, he's pissed. Yo, that was sick. But it keeps missing, man. <laughs> Yo. There we go, Nizuku. They never thought of a, a another person or another demon in that box. There you go, Nizuku. <laughs> there we go. Now he's not all alone in this battle. Ugh. All right. Oh, uh. Oh, that's awesome. So she kind of cooled down. That's a that I think that's a big development for uh, Nisuku right there. She's looking at it as her brother and... Huh. That's really a huge development for her character. Like, at the bat she was like, uh, couldn't really control herself, but now that she uh, rested for so long that she kind of has more of a human side to her than demon. All humans are humanity, protect humans. The demons are the enemy. That's awesome. Yo! Okay, oh, and that's the end. I feel like something might happen. There's no way that she would uh, defeat them like that. But that's still pretty cool for her development. I give her that. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was episode 6 of Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaba, Swordsman Accompanied by a Demon. So we see Tanjiro and Nizuku's uh, journey to the town of the Northwest, which, um, kind of a little bit bad communication. Like, they actually don't even give him, like, the town's name. They're just like, yeah, just go Northwest. If you see a town, it's right there. Just yeah, just go Northwest. You'll, you'll find the location. <laughs> a little bit funny of the comedy side there. But uh, we kind of see like more of a town, a little bit of a city within uh, Demon Slayer right here, which is pretty cool. Um, and definitely freaky as well because of this uh, demon and human society that even though there's a huge town or city or whatever, that um, there could just be a demon lurking around and uh, taking people, which of course we see these three individuals, which um, I always hate bringing up like Naruto or a different like anime's perspective when it comes to a different one. But I guess Demon Slayer is a shonen. But uh, this uh, demon's kind of re uh, reminded me of a little bit of a Zetsu from Naruto. You know, have a little bit of different personalities. Like, it's basically like just a clone of themselves. Like, I thought it was maybe just like one person. Like, maybe this demon used like the, the Shadow Clone Jutsu so that he can kind of uh, disperse himself into like another area. Because uh, even though that they're looking for... Um, 
uh, I guess girls for like an appetite right here. Like the the one demon said, like it's 16 years old, has like good nutrients and everything like that. That's better for the demon. Something creepy like that. It's really really weird, but um, that's what I thought his ability is. But no, they just have like kind of like a different personality. They're kind of like they're uh, different uh, different demons of sorts, even though they look exactly the same. Um, I thought like maybe we would see the demon at the finale of this, like maybe just like a cliffhanger. But uh, we get him kind of like in the middle now, which is pretty cool. And uh, Tundra Man. I know it's like his first mission and that there's still a lot more, uh, you know, character development from him, but he definitely needs to practice with that sword 100%. Like, even though this demon could, like, morph in the walls and on the floor and everything like that, like, still, man, if you have an opportunity, you have to get the kill right there, or else if you miss, that could p potentially lead to your death or, you know, the humans that are right beside you as well. But, uh, also give credit to Tundra because of, uh, his ability right here. And it's probably more for, uh, the demon hunters, uh, that we're gonna get more within this series is that, of course, uh, Tundra effectiveness is of course his uh, nose man you know his nose is basically like a dog if you look at it you know pick up the demon scent or pick up another human scent etc like that and it worked towards his ability like you never know like where a demon is like out of everywhere you would think like he's maybe hiding in the house or hiding in the shed or something like that no he just steps his sword to the ground because he's know he's there because of his scent he knows that this demon could use a morphine ability and it works out it pays out he saves that girl from the demon and it probably just confirms right there as well that the rest of the girls and that one girl that was taken away from of course uh the person or the hostage right there um died because of the collectibles that he's shown that could be just of uh, a coincidence like hey even though we have their charms right there they're probably not dead but you know knowing a demon they probably are so it's probably a rest in peace uh to that individual but yeah demon slayer episode six right there it's very interesting and we're probably going to see you know the final battle between a uh, tundra and these demons or give more hints here or there um i guess there's also that hint that you know there's a solution of actually turning use uh uh, Nizuku, you know, back to a human, which of course was the first ever demon within this world that was over, I think, a thousand years ago that uh, Sukunji said to uh, um, Tundra before this uh, beginning that, you know, talk to this guy that he might have the solution to reviving your sister. So that was kind of his concentration and his hope that he can't let anything stop him until he meets this individual so that he could save his little sister to, you know, come back into, you know, of course, a human. You know, he can't die at this point. He has to survive. So, yeah, that's. That was the episode man it was definitely good definitely hooked man i cannot wait to watch more of this and i have to catch up as well you know they're on 17 18 episodes and i'm about to just go into episode 7 so i gotta hurry up right here but if you guys did enjoy this reaction of course make sure to leave a like comment down below what are your guys thoughts and opinions on this episode and of course subscribe to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated but either way guys of course we'll see you all in a brand new demon slayer episode until you see him but have a good one guys much love and we'll see you in the next one